<laughs> U.S. Surgeon General Dr. Vivek Morthy mm -hmm. is sounding the alarm bells about the hazardous impact of social media. Now, he wants Congress to require social media sites to display warning labels similar to tobacco and alcohol products for starters. Take a look. Social media is associated with mental health harms for adolescents. Now, warning labels, based on our experience with tobacco and alcohol products, can be useful in both increasing awareness and changing behavior. Congress can put in place the kind of safety standards that will protect our kids from harmful content like violence and sexual content and protect their privacy and protect them from bullying and harassment online. Congress can also protect kids from the kind of features that would seek to manipulate their developing brains into excessive use. Yeah, that's probably all true, yeah. you know, but it would really be helpful if Congress could actually get their act together and make some laws. Yeah. Regulations. You know, because yeah. we, we can say all of this, but, you know, the, the monkey's out of the cage, man. Yeah. The monkey's out the cage. Yeah. And adults also need to be aware and heed these warnings as well, don't you think? Absolutely, and I think it's... Uh, uh, right first step to do a Surgeon General's warning, but they need to do much more actionable things. If you've heard of Jonathan Haidt's Anxious Generation, mm -hmm. this book that is Voyager. just, it, it's blowing up because it talks about how while there was a rise in phone-based childhood, we lost independent play at the same time. That's why so many of us say we went outside and never mm -hmm. came back mm -hmm. in. And, kids are not the same. They're, oh, there's a lot of parental supervision. There's a lot of screens. And so they saw a rise, 134% increase in anxiety since 2010, 106% increase in depression. Mm -hmm. And so it talks in this book, it gives you a great outline of advice of how to handle this, like giving children more time to play with children where you're not hovering over those kids, kind of like mm -hmm. we did a la the 80s and 90s. Um, but then also, don't give them smartphones. If they have to have contact with you, mm -hmm. giving them, I guess they're called dumb phones, or gap phones, <laughs> um, push off social media as long as you can, and Congress has to step up because they need regulations for yeah. stopping the algorithm. The, Europe's way ahead of us on this, by the way. We need to increase yeah. the age. We need to stop targeted advertising. There's so many things we could do here that are not being done, and I would argue that it is agreed upon in a bipartisan way. Well, and bipartisan lawmakers have called social media digital fentanyl because it is addictive for young people, for old people. I'm someone who struggles with how much time I spend on it, the impacts I feel on my mental health, and I think of myself, like, I'm an adult. When you are a young person whose brain is still forming, you're dealing with hormones, you're dealing with not necessarily being able to contextualize things that an algorithm is teeing up for you, it can be a very dangerous place. The rates of self-harm, suicide, but also body image mm -hmm. issues, anxiety and depression. We are failing a generation of young people if we don't try to get our arms around it. But the, uh, Dr. Murphy says something important in this New York Times piece he wrote, which is the parents, I think, are trying to help, but the onus can't be all on them. This is where Congress needs to come right. in. Yeah. But Congress also hasn't done major tech reform in over 20 years. Yeah. And they tend to, when we watch these hearings, they don't seem to even have their arms around it. <laughs> An immediate first step is there are apps that you can have your kids download that actually cut off social media after a certain amount of time. Because he writes that after three hours, there's a detrimental impact on yeah. your health and wellness. So that's a first step parents can implement, but it is a crisis and we're asleep at the switch. I, I think you're right. I mean, there are so many things as parents that we can do. Cutting screen time is very important. It really will change your life. It will change your family's uh, dynamics. It will change um, the lives of your children. I think three hours is actually a lot of screen time. You know, we are, my kids have a little less than that. Um, I, I also w will say, you know, my problem is we can do what we can do as parents, and we're on top of it. But what the social media companies are not doing is they're not sharing their algorithms, they're not sharing their data, they're not sharing their information with the people that are buying the product or downloading the product, with the people that are buying the phones, or with Congress. And so while we're, we're seeing, and, and the book that you mentioned is fantastic, it came out in March, I ordered it, I read it almost immediately. What we're seeing is that Doctors are saying, yes, there's clearly a problem here because it started in 2010 when this phone generation started, but there is no scientific data linking the two. So if you don't have the scientific data to link the two, how do you go to Congress and actually legislate with the lack? Well, they legislate with lack of, lack yeah. of facts all I the mean, time. All but the time. You, would, the time. You, you would hope that they what, would, would provide this information. Yeah. What's, really, what's really scary to me is the way they can manipulate the video. 
and manipulate oh, the, the AI you know, stuff? I, yeah. The other day I was in the supermarket and I see the New York Post sitting there and it's mm -hmm. got this lie on the cover mm -hmm. about Joe Biden. So look at this video on the left. You'll see Joe Biden that was posted by the New York Post at the G7 summit. It looks like he's so it's falsely himself. made to appear as though he's wandering off, as if this like he's senile or something. Mm. Uh, Georgia Maloney from Italy grabs his arm for a picture. What the video does not show is the full video on the right, and that Biden is actually speaking to a skydiver uh, and giving him a thumbs up. Okay, now the the New York Post had this on the cover. Uh, with just as if he's wandering off. They just cut the film the way they yeah. want. They yeah. put it out there as if... Now, we know the Post is, is basically disgusting. a tabloid, but it's not on the cover of the, the Times or the Washington Post. But I wanted to pick it up in there and start telling people, this is fake, this is fake. <laughs> While they're buying potatoes, they need to see this. And I'm sure it was but, on their digital well, platform. And no, so, well. why, of course, so young people, like you both made the point, Whoopi and you, about how the brain is not fully functioning yeah. in these teenage Until kids. Until 25. And so they're vulnerable to all the lies but and that's what's but frightening. also I you know I know I you know one of the things that has to happen and nobody wants to do it because nobody wants to be the bad guy yeah when you tell your kids to put those phones down mm -hmm. you have to mean it mm -hmm. you have to mean it because yeah. you own the phone you know because you know you know it's this problem as you know this has been a, a yes we talked a about the of mine yeah. forever mm -hmm. because you know the one thing that you found that I found that I thought was remarkable during the pandemic was people had to talk to their families. Mm -hmm. people... <laughs> oh, the horror! Oh, well, the horror! But yes, but some of it was a silver people, lining of it. it. But it was that's the beauty. People yeah. had to talk to each other. Yeah. yeah, you had to speak to them. You couldn't call them. You had to say what you needed to say. This habit that people have of dodging that bullet, of having to communicate directly yeah. and say stuff yeah. that's going to piss your kids off, you think, my mother never cared. <laughs> never. <Yeah. laughs> she didn't want to be my friend. No. She would no. say, if your friends jump off the roof, are you going to join them? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my All the bridge. She All the, bridge the same analogy. thing. Mm -hmm. This is really important. You have to take, we, we have to take this back. Because the government can't really do it. They're not going to do what need. I know you. They're know. not going to give the. Yeah. the, the well, and I was just going to yeah. say, as adults, yes, the onus is on us to look after the younger generation, but also ourselves. Like this election, you're going to see the most disinformation, yes. the most deep fake right. misinformation, yeah. Yeah. AI, yeah. and it's Good going point. to impact how people vote. So I think being smart, checking ourselves, looking at what we're reading, and seeing if yeah. it's yeah. true, but also telling other people, it's be important. joy and wave it around it's at important. the potato section. Yeah, like, we, people we are going to do it. Yeah. Really true. about to do we it. We all have to do it because this AI <laughs> stuff. Is no joke. Yeah. yeah, it is no joke. And the Pope's scared about you it. You know. Well, that was just yeah. plain misinformation. That was, just that was a lie. That was, was a lie. But, but there's a lot of lying of a major going on. Newspaper. And I'm not yeah. sure it was. It is a tabloid, well. but still, yeah. people will believe everything they read in that paper. Yeah. Well, lie. You know, lie upon lie upon lie. Mm -hmm. Got. We got to pay attention. We've got to pay Imagine attention. Imagine when we were kids, would be, if they were bullying us, which I was bullied as a kid because mm -hmm. my hair was not right. You wore Bermuda I, shorts. I, I was wearing though. Bermuda shorts. Nobody. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Imagine those girls who came and threatened my life. If it was viral, right. then oh, yeah. more people yeah. would know. So much no. harder. It was terrible. It's a, it's yeah. a, it's, it is a problem, and we got to get on top of it, because the, cat, the, the, the monkey, as I said, is out of the Well, who's in charge of, getting, who, of putting it out? Like, who, who did the warning of the cigarettes? The government the did. Government who did. did the seatbelts? The government. Yeah. So that Alcohol. is the government. Well, and we keep saying, fix it. But they don't seem to be doing very much.